why does the narcissist return to the ex? Think back to that glorious time when you were courted by the narcissist who ensnared you. Amidst the delight and excitement of that powerful and dizzying seduction, there is a good chance that mention was made of his or her ex-partner. That person was invariably the devil incarnate, weren't they? They were an abuser, a drunk, an addict, a gold digger, a gambler, never worked, a sponger, never helped around the house, was controlling, never helped with the children, bad-tempered, unsociable, awkward, played video games all day, and so on and so forth. No doubt, your narcissist ex was one or more of those things. The penny pincher, the psycho, the nut job, the fruit loop, the maniac. They were smeared to you from the off. He is just plain evil. She is utterly batshit crazy. You won't want to meet her. She's not the full quid. He is violent and nasty, charming on the outside, but horrible on the inside. A hundred different ways to ensure that you thought ill of the predecessor X, and more highly of the narcissist. You were to think more highly of us, and give us praise for having broken free from this horrible individual. To provide us with sympathy for what we endured. Encouragement for now being with you. The fuel flowed as we recounted tale after tale of terrible treatment. All of this was told after we had jettisoned this person as we embedded you into our world. It may even have been the case that you commenced an affair with us. We admitted we were married, that we lived with somebody, or that we were in a relationship. But a combination of our charismatic magnetism and the tales of woe about how our partner was horrible and abusive meant that you saw somebody wonderful, in need of your love, and you felt no real concerns at interfering in our relationship. After all, how many times did we tell you that we never had sex with them anymore, that we did not even share a bed, how we were only together for the sake of the children, and a hundred other reasons that are given to entice you and reassure you that it is you that we want. We may well have even left our partner to be with you. You triumphed. Good overcame evil, as you ensured that we had the support, courage and determination to escape their horrible treatment of us. You had us to yourself, and the golden period could truly commence. Some time later, it might be weeks, it could be months, and possibly even years, something strange happened. We went back. You were unceremoniously dropped, and we returned to the arms of the ex-partner once again. How could this be so? How could we return to someone so horrible, so abusive, so evil? How could we go back to this person about whom we told you so many stories of their abusive behaviour and ugly character? How could we return after you rescued us from them? How could we do this after everything you have done for us? Whereas the ex was horrible, you were delightful. The ex did not care. You never stopped caring. And where the ex was cruel, you were wonderful. You helped us through the separation and you shielded us when the savage ex came after us, blaming you for breaking a happy, supposedly, marriage up. You heard their protestations that you turned their partner's head, whispered lies about them so as to turn their partner against the ex. You remember how astonished you were at the time that someone would have the audacity to behave in such an abusive manner and then accuse you of doing the very things that they already engaged in. The ex was just as we described, wasn't he or she. Manipulative, vicious, and blaming everybody else but herself. Just as we had warned you, she behaved exactly to type. She even accused us of certain things, but you did not believe them, because we had already forewarned you that this was something that she would do. Try to make you think that we were the abusive one, in order to deflect attention from what she was really like. How on earth could we go back to this liar, this cheat, this abuser, this evil and horrible person? It just made no sense. In some instances, you received no answer. Our number had changed. We moved back in with this person at a place you did not know. 
We blocked you on social media. Those friends you thought you had made in our circle shunned you or just told you to accept that these things happen and to move on. But you cannot. The truth seeker that you are cannot accept it. Yet you cannot fathom out why someone could do this. Firstly, why on earth return to an abuser? Secondly, why drop someone wonderful like you, who he had professed a real and perfect love for? Nothing made sense anymore. You might have been able to confront us to try and find out why on earth we had behaved in this way. You may have been given a sole opportunity to state your case and to find out why we had done this and left you devastated. You will have been told things such as, I knew that I really did love them. You helped me realise that. and For that, you do have my gratitude. She promised to change and I thought she deserved that chance. I did it for the sake of the children rather than my own happiness. We have been together for 20 years. I realised I could not do that to her and throw it all away. You undoubtedly will have argued against these comments we have made. You will have tried to persuade us in order to get us back again. No doubt you said things to each of the above comments such as You don't love her. How can you love someone who has abused you for such a long time? You have done the hard bit getting away from her. You cannot go back. Or She won't change. Why would she? You said it yourself. She has promised this before and nothing has happened. Or if you did the right thing for your children, you would not expose them to such a toxic atmosphere as the one you described between you and her. Or, she has you under complete control. You don't know anything other than her abusive ways and you have been conditioned to accept them. You don't have to do that. I can help you. Your desperate and well-intentioned pleas and reasoning failed. The reason why is because when we said each of the above comments, this is what we really meant. When we said, I knew that I really did love her, you helped me realise that, and for that you have my gratitude, what we were really saying to you was, you weren't the fuel I thought you would be, and I realised the fuel I would get from going back and hoovering my ex and seeking another chance would outweigh what you were giving me, and it worked. But don't worry, I am not going to get rid of you just yet. I have organised a wonderful triangulation for me, you and her, that will carry on throughout my reconciliation with her. It will be like we are having an affair... Or having an affair again, how exciting, how fuel laden. Where we said, she promised to change and I thought she deserved that chance. What we actually meant was, I promised to change. That hoovered her back in, it always does, and she fell for it, and that fuel is now better than yours. Where we stated, I did it for the sake of the children rather than my own happiness. What we really meant was, I saw some cracks in my facade and realised that people actually might turn against me. I need that facade, so I have to sacrifice you instead. You won't realise this, but I have told her, our families and friends, that you are a stalker and you were trying to blackmail me. They understand. The facade is now intact. You are expendable. Where we stated, we have been together for 20 years. I realised I could not do that to her. What we really meant was, I know her inside out, and I know that no matter how many times I do this, she will always take me back and give me powerful hoover fuel. I know I told you that you were the only one I have left her for. That wasn't actually true. You're nothing special. I have done it many times before and I will do it again. I might do it again with you if you're foolish enough to give me another chance. It's all about the fuel. If you are reeling from the stunning revelation that we've returned to the ex that was labelled as horrible and abusive, if you are unable to comprehend why we would do this, it is entirely understandable. The fact is, they were never horrible. They were never abusive. True, we viewed it as that because they did not do what we wanted, that they did not continue to provide the fuel that we required, or that fuel became stale, or in some way we felt that they were rejecting our control of them. And thus, the narcissistic perspective caused them to be regarded as the abuser, but they were not. They were just labelled as such. The abuser was only ever us, the narcissist. The reality is they were never abusive. We are the abusers. We used you as we used the partner in order to get fuel. We projected our behaviours onto them and you lapped it all up, giving us the positive fuel and we also obtained the negative fuel from her as we triangulated you with her. Your imperfect traits of being honest and decent, of wanting to heal and to fix, caused you to fall for our story of woe, of supposed abuse, of supposed wanting to move forward and escape this horrible person. 
Your own innate addiction to our kind meant that your emotional thinking drove you to accept hook, line and sinker this scenario. You may even have had the information validated by our lieutenants, all part of the creation of this illusion that we are wonderful people that were being abused and merely wanted to escape. We will come back to you again and invariably, even though we have dropped you and returned to the X, unless you apply logic, unless you get out and stay out, your emotional thinking will let you take us back. Because you have tasted the golden period, your emotional thinking will fight through getting answers, through wanting that golden period to cause you to engage with us once and more. Indeed, in many instances, you actually still believe that she is the bitch and the two of you will fight over me, blaming one another, rather than realise that I am to the blame. I planned it. I orchestrated it. I am the puppet master that continues to puppet you and her and cause you to fight against one another, rather than see who really is the problem.